Hi, I'm Ruth Rickey, and today I want to introduce you to my bakery's newest addiction. It's called New Wrap Buttercream Roll Fondant. And I was so lucky that my representative sent me a, a sample of this. I'm going to pull some out to work with. I wish this was smell vision I really do, because if you guys could smell this flavor right now, you would know why it's become our great addiction. Um, all the girls at the bakery that were swearing off sweets, um, oh my gosh, uh, have, I keep catching them eating the rolled fondant instead of working with it to do people's cakes like we're supposed to be doing. It's just, it's ridiculously good. It's um, got more buttercream into it or a buttercream flavoring. It's also a little less expensive than the regular Fondex and it's softer. And so it's a little easier for me to roll out and for everyone else to roll out. And so it's much easier to work with. And I'm gonna roll on my Fondex mat because it's my new favorite tool. And I'm just gonna keep rotating. The flavor of this icing is I think my favorite part of it. I know the price should be my favorite part because I'm in business and you know it's all about making money, but for me, I can't get over how it tastes. It seems like it's something that customers that are a little finicky and don't like rolled fondant would like because it is more of a flavor that they might be used to because there is a little bit of that hint of the buttercream flavor in the rolled fondant. It rolls out beautifully smooth. And I'm just gonna lift it up over my rolling pin. Move my cake into place. And drop that down over the cake. Because this is soft, it's got a lot of good extra movement and stretch to it. So I'm gonna be able to work out all of the pleats and wrinkles and things that I might not like if I have any troubles when I'm first putting it on. It is really, really soft, so I'm gonna be gentle on the top corners of a dummy. It's not gonna be that sharp on a real cake, of course, but dummy cakes are a little bit trickier sometimes. And I'm just pulling away and smoothing down with my hand to get rid of the pleats. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna polish it with a fondant smoother. All right, so now I'm gonna trim around the cake with my little pizza wheel. You don't want to use a knife or a spatula because that can drag your fondant and start to pull it. So you want something that rotates. So a pizza wheel or any type of cutting wheel like that is normally much better for working with. And for sure, if you cut on your fondant mat, you want to make sure that you're not using a knife because you don't want to cut the threads that are on that. Okay, so I've got that in place and then I'm gonna switch over to my fondant smoother and it's got a handle, so it's gonna be easy for me to use. The edges are all rounded, so I'm not gonna be poking holes into it. And I can come all around the edges and polish to a great sheen. And what this is doing, there are sugar crystals inside of your rolled fondant because it's made of sugar. And the sugar crystals are much like diamonds. They've got edges and rough spots onto it. So by using this, we're going to knock those edges and hard places off and I'm going to get a much smoother satiny surface to it. It will also help to rub out any little seams or any imperfections if you had some as you went around your cake. Because it's hard to put a covering on and have it perfect every single time. And that is how easy it is to work with the new wrap. I'm telling you, you would love this. And I never eat sweets, but I have to eat this.